風速ハリネズミソニックのレースゲームソニック R セガサタンまたまたこれですねセガタ三四郎はあほりゃほりゃほりゃセガタ三四郎セガサタン四郎三つのドラマの RPG シャイニングフォース三セガサタンセガタン来るかな。来るかな。あ、サンタさん。わい。サンタさん、スケボーちょうだい。私ぬいぐるみ。ちょうだいちょうだい。わあ。セガサタンシュー。セガタサンシロからのプレゼント、サンシロディスクもついている。セガサタン。Hi, how are you? <clears throat> we got we got some uh, Sonic 3D. It's Sonic, but he's in 3D. I'll have to see what the volume's like. I might need to scale this on my monitor. I wish there was a button to do this quicker, but what can you do? Scale for aspect ratio. Oh. Hmm. It seems I only have fill to screen. Well, I guess because it's being output as 720p. Are you pandering to me? No, I'm pandering to me. Right, inner pin mode. Thank you. Okay. I've been meaning to do this for a while. Hang on, it's, it, nothing's wrong, it's just got to, got to load. Oh, no, 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 please. Well, I waited too long. And now, now I have to wait for it to load. Oh crap, I love my color source in here. Oh god. Uh. <laughs> well, that's not good. <laughs> I mean, OBS is, is kind of weirding on me. Like, half the time it's not updating with the correct sources. Well, since I have goofed up the entire world, you, you guys have to watch me do this again. But don't worry. We'll do it nice. What kind of capture is this? RGB. I think I'm going to do it nice and quick. We want to get it, like, just about here. I made it I made it in a hurry and then I delete half of it go figure 
Okay, let me put up a color source just to make sure we get those. Just to make sure we I have to I have to switch the scene or else the scene list isn't updating. I don't know. I I might have to do a full reinstall of OBS in the future. No, don't hide it in Mixer. I didn't want to click that. And be sh don't don't deinterlace either. No interlacing is going on that I know of. Okay, hang on. I'm working on it. Working on it. Okay, there we go. All right, almost. There we go. No color source. You stay where you are. You don't move. Let me move this. I hope I didn't move the other stuff. Let me see. No, I don't think so. I'm sorry. I have to figure out the right numbers that get rid of the, the black. I'm going to shave off a little extra here since it's a... Uh... Hmm. I can't tell if that's uh no no I think I shaved off too much. This'll probably work. Now let's see the top. Did I do the top? Okay. Top. This is what it's like. This is Dustin making a scene simulator. I mean not like making a scene like I'm yelling and screaming in the restaurant. Not like that. Don't worry. I'm very nearly there. God dang it, OBS, please. Just update. Update the scene list. I... Oh boy. I thought I had it all to get. Where'd the chat go? Why is it's in it's in the chat group. I don't want it in there. What keyboard key do I press to move it down? I guess that one. Oh god. Kill me now. Oh, and I need to put my Streamlabs alert widget here that OBS is not updating the scene list, the source list. Okay, last thing, last thing. Where is it? Oh, here it is. Okay, just swoosh that right over there. Just so it can, you know, kind of cover the game a little bit. Okay, there we go. There we go. So now that my horrific incident of terror is over, how about we, uh, I was going to say check the options, but there aren't any. No, no options for us. Okay, well, continuing on then. Loading screen. All right, here's a map. Okay, let's see what the volume balance is like. As soon as it loads. All right, checking, checking. Game could maybe stand to be a tiny bit louder, I think.
Uh, that, let's see. Check, check. Little, little bit more. Check, check. Checking. Check. Okay, that's probably good. Suspending tabs. No, wait, wait. No, I forgot to tweet it out. I gotta tweet it out. Okay, now. Now we can suspend the tabs. And we can we can play video games. Alright, so it's Sonic 3D Blast on the Saturn. You might know it's Genesis counterpart, but this is not it. This is the one on the Saturn. If you couldn't tell, I, I have been incredibly subtle with it. So Eggman's captured the Flickies. We gotta rescue him. Flickies are the birds from that one arcade game. You only know it from Windows 95. Hello, main memory. Good to see you around. You can get these... Well, there's not... There isn't one up there. I thought there was one up there, but there's not. When I see one, I'll let you know. I think there's one over here. Yeah, you can get those tokens, but some of them are too high up, and you gotta use the flickies. Not... <laughs> not e the easiest thing to do. You gotta have five flickies, and you gotta backtrack for the tokens. I played it a couple times on the Mega Drive slash Genesis, but uh, this is my first attempt to beat it on the Saturn. So here's the big distinction between the versions besides some graphical changes. When it loads. Yep, it doesn't take you long to get into the famous special stages. It's basically Sonic 2, but in actual 3D. Who would have thunk it? Collect many rings, get emerald. I have only played like the first one or two of these. God help me. Oh, oh, nope. <laughs> Imagine this but bad and you have the PC version. Yeah, bas <laughs> basically. Oh, there's like a flicker of some sort. No, oh, give me that. Oh, no, Sonic! Sonic, please! I mean, I am already well past the amount of rings that I actually need to get. So, I mean, no need to worry. Just have some fun with it. Oh, the rolling's kind of uh, a bit touchy. Alright, that, that one was pretty easy. They'll probably get harder. Oh, look at that. Look how many polygons are on that thing. Look at that dithered shadow. I went to go grab some rice. What have I missed? Uh, not much. We just got the first emerald, which, as you know, is possible within the first, like, five minutes of the game. I have a smudge on my glasses. I was expecting you to gush over the special stages. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> I mean, they're they're pretty good. I'm sorry if I don't if I don't have a ton to say about them. They're they're like Sonic 2, but better. Don't worry, they'll get they'll get a little bit more wild as the game goes on. Like that one was was pretty tame as far as they go. They introduced some some wackier stuff as the game goes on. Alright, thank you, Knuckles. Alright, moving on. Oh, wait, let me go get the shield. <laughs> yeah, if you're gushing internally, I'm sorry, you need to go to the ER. Okay, so there's a guy over here. This is like... The gold shield, it predates the homing attack, funny enough. 
and I'm pretty sure has seen its way into several ROM hacks for that very reason. Sonic ROM hacks, too bad nobody here knows anything about that. The turret. Has it? Oh, well, I mean, I, I felt like it did. I thought it did. Maybe it didn't. I've seen it in at least one hack. That much, that much I can say with confidence. Ooh, ooh. Very useful though for hitting these isometric adversaries. Oh, wait, hang on. Oh, hey, look, it's my good friend Miles. And also my good friend Miles. But I also just have the Sonic Adventure homing attack in a couple hacks. That is true. I feel like that one is more common, like, than the only when you have a shield variant. Wait, hang on, I forgot. Is this just gonna be- is this just gonna be the same stage? You might be only able to do one special stage per, uh, level. Well, we're gonna find out, I suppose. It is on PC. Well, I, su I guess we'll find out, but this is seeming pretty familiar- yeah. Uh, and I, yeah, on Saturn, only one emerald per act. Well, now we know. Just don't bother with tails ever. But there's no way to leave, so I have to finish this. Or purposefully sabotage myself, which is easier said than done, considering that there are, like, no spikes or anything. No method with which to lose rings. Look, I'm all, I haven't touched anything and I'm already there. I'm just not. <laughs> Joke about Sonic Forces. <laughs> Since, since Main Memory is mentioning it, and it is kind of funny, I I do feel like I should take a moment to show you the PC version, Special Stages. Uh, just one sec. I almost got it. Ah. Oh wait, but I I gotta switch off <laughs> I gotta switch off of my monitor to do it because Windows is like, oh hey man, you wanna like <laughs> you wanna open up a new window? It's gonna open up on the monitor that's not actually <laughs> turned connected to Windows. Hope that hope that doesn't bother you or anything. I'm just opening it in in PC. Okay, so window capture. Yeah, here you go. Sorry about the volume. Skip forward a little bit.
I think we caught the tail end of that one. Also, if the windows on the wrong monitor thing happens. Yeah, yeah, I know about that. Don't worry. It's just, it's just I'm clicking blind. I'm, I'm flying blind out here. I don't want to, like, move my mouse into the other window and accidentally click on, uh... Yes, please, uh, mail me, like, Bitcoin newsletter. So, yeah, these special stages are a little samey. <laughs> a little bit. Really, very fast. I mean, I've heard of Sonic, but this is ridiculous. Okay. That'll be enough of that, I think. Now, to turn on my Saturn monitor mode. Okay. Okay, we're back. Back to reality. Okay, let's go. We gotta get back to where we were. Tails has wasted all of my time. Wait, what's in here? Ring. G give me. Give me that. Crap, I've already been streaming for 20 minutes. That's not good. <laughs> I've wasted too much time. <laughs> Bombs! Yeah, so Sega ended up releasing this game because I believe they didn't have Sonic Extreme at the ready. They want they wanted to have an actual 3D Sonic game, but uh, well, that didn't pan out. This is what they had. I mean, they tried to give Sonic a presence on the Saturn, but. You know, there's only so much they managed to do. You got this, which is 3D. 3D isometric game that's not actually 3D, and it was on the Genesis. You got a, a compilation of Genesis games. I feel like there's a pattern going on here. And then you have uh, Sonic R, which is really the closest thing to a killer app the Saturn truly had. I think we can all agree. Yeah, I mean, I, I get what main memory's saying, like, it's a little haphazard, like, it doesn't feel like a lot of thought went into it. Yeah, I mean, most of you probably know this, but I unironically love Sonic R. My only problem with it is that there's just kind of not a lot of content in the game. You get, you get five total maps. <laughs> Compared to its contemporary, roughly, Mario Kart 64, that's, like, almost kind of sad. <laughs> but like I always say, if, you're, if my biggest complaint about a game is that I wish there was more game, then, you know, that's often a good sign. I thought there was something there. I guess I'm just crazy. <laughs> the tur <laughs> I hate the turrets. Need a sentry over here. So yeah, this is this game's gameplay loop. Run around, look for flickies, catch flickies, get dizzy. This game's almost a little nauseating. When you're not the one playing it. <laughs> this was up here. I could have used that, but I'm stupid. But yeah, the Saturn version uh, adds a lot of detail to these games because of its increased color depth. You can tell that unlike the Genesis version, the ground here has a tile. It's like a texture, I mean to say. They, they're, they're tiles in every version of the game, but there's a texture. You really want to remake this in SADX? Well, I, I would enjoy that. I'll tell you that much.
then again, I'm just always game for like more Sonic Adventure DX level mods. I think I would really enjoy if there were more of those. Though if nothing else, we have the uh, Heroes and SA2 conversion mods. <laughs> yeah, the rolling. See, there's spikes now. Whoa! Yeah, see? Now we're getting a little crazy. Oh, oh, well, I missed that. I don't think that was a slip. Oh, crap, did I miss? Did I mess up? No, not yet, I didn't. Not yet. Granted, I could have done better. Oh. It... Yeah, see, here's where we get a little chaotic. Gonna get funky. And yeah, uh, Main Memory streamed the uh, Heroes mod earlier. I would have shown up to that, but I was a little preoccupied, I apologize. Ooh, springing! We're springing! Oh! Sonic, don't scare me like that! You're gonna give me a heart attack! Oh, we got Echo! Yeah, see, here's where things get wild, and this is where I'm gonna start gushing. Especially since most of this is new to me. And I can pause during the special stages, so... Mm. I mean, look at that texture. Is that not the most 90s 3D texture you have ever seen in your life? All right, thank you. <laughs> CD-ROMs, everybody. <laughs> But we got FMVs! There's supposed to be music there? Hmm, maybe. Maybe the disc just didn't rewrite or something, I don't know. But it's the only copy of uh, 3D Blast on the Saturn that I have. Oh, unfortunately, no. Well, fortunately for me, because I was about ready to say that my disc was broken. Okay. Bop. Thank you. I don't know why I'm thanking the enemy. I don't know why I'm thanking the enemy. <laughs> I mean, I don't have to bother with the rings anymore. Oh, the worm guy. Is, or is that a caterpillar? Established Sonic enemy caterpillar. What's this? Speed! Fast! Not fast enough? This probably should have been the invincibility theme, if you ask me. Ah, uh, homing attack. Give me, give me the, give me the attack. I pressed the button and he went spin dash, but he didn't actually do it. Oh wait, this way. Rock. I'm pretty sure this is just where Tails is. Yeah, I, I, no offense, Tails. Don't need you. The Emerald Limit has left me apathetic to this fox's existence. Where am I going? I'm probably going across this bridge. I'm lost. Oh, wait, there's a map. Oh, wait, it, does, it doesn't tell you where the enemies are, though. That I can tell, at least.
Oh, last one. There, there we go. Alright, moving on. Hello, mole. Oh, no, there's a wormhole. No, I don't want that. I got the better shield. Purple. I think uh, all of the flickies have different movement patterns, but that often amounts to very little in the actual scope of the game. <laughs> it's neat, though. John Burton, who I almost called Tim Burton, um, made a hack of this game that made a few changes to it. Uh, a few I like, a few I don't like. I mean, it was the Genesis version, not this version. <laughs> Could I have a ring, please? I mean, I knew he did that. I don't know why it caught me off guard. Damn. I mean, I n never actually thought the physics of Sonic 3D Blast were particularly bad. That's one thing that was changed. Like, I don't think Sonic controls all that poorly. I don't know. I don't know why that one didn't work. Oh, there we go. Oh, look, look, we got the, the high fidelity explosion. Okay, moving on. To rusty ruin, rustic ruin, rust. It's got to be rusty. It's, it, they can, they don't say ick in Sonic, and I realize the irony of that joke immediately after saying it. <clears throat> Which I mean is weird, because. Uh, I don't think stone rusts. <laughs> Aquatic ruin, though. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that joke, this joke was poorly researched. Also, I don't know why they let you do this. See, this is where a bigger and more popular streamer might make some kind of silly noise about the action Sonic is performing here, but nah. That's not me. Okay, so Tails is over there. There's another, there's another like loose tile. Gator. Yeah, so you gotta have your flicky trail or else you don't get the... Oh, yeah, I know what you gotta do. I know what you gotta do. Hang on. Let's just hope I do it and don't suck. I almost got hit. Like, I, it grazed me. It was right there. Okay, there we go. I'm just gonna keep spinning if that's alright with you. Why are cars so loud? 
It, it is current year. Let us solve that problem. I gotta, I gotta pay attention. Yes! Yes! Is that actually what I wanted to do? I do not know. Ah, oh, yeah, jump! Oh, yeah, baby. This is the good stuff right here. This is the, this is the good special stage. Oh, oh, okay. I don't remember it loading this long on PC. Well, in all fairness, it probably stored all of the files to your hard drive and just used the disk for DRM. Whereas we're we're streaming this right from the CD-ROM. Oh, I love doing that though. Whoa, whoa. Going, go, go, up and down, all around. It is so hard to align yourself when it's doing this. Oh no. I mean, I have many rings, but it's still scary. I mean, I will give Nintendo one thing. The Nintendo 64 did, in fact, have games that loaded much faster than this. It probably wasn't worth it, but I could understand where they were coming from. Sorry, just checking something out over there. Okay, bye, Tails. You're lucky, Fox. You came before Knuckles this time. Oh, we're, it's raining. I didn't know it did this. It's over here. There's like a way back, which I don't know if I need, but... It has rain on PC too, but not the fog. I feel like I remember hearing that somewhere. Yeah. Oh, no, I was already down this way. Mm, yeah, I probably gotta go this, this way. Because every 90s game needed fog. Well, we had to show off the graphics. We had to make the good graphics. Okay, fog over. Arr! Fog's fog's done. I don't understand these. <laughs> Are you a DKC enemy? I might just be, yes. Ooh, new shield. What's the point of having more than one ring in this game? You have to have five to enter the special stage, but once you've gotten the one emerald that you're allowed per act, then nothing. But they're just so much fun to collect. Like, listen to the pleasant noise they make when you pick them up. You thought it was the Sonic tokens? Uh, no, that just gives you an extra life if you got a, or an extra continue if you get enough of them.
Okay. Oh, dude, this song is so chill. S songs you fall asleep to at uh, 2 in the morning. Yeah, I think you pretty much have to get all the tokens, if I remember right. Which I almost never actually do. But that's okay, because this game is not very hard, in my opinion. So I don't think it's going to be a huge necessity. Eh. Eh. Zippity doo da. Just zipping on through. Knuckles through one of those bustable walls. Have, didn't I get tails in this act? Oh, yeah. I was about to say. Yeah, he's right here. It would be cool if you could play as Knuckles in this game, but I have no idea how that would even work. And it's probably unlikely that anyone's ever going to mod him in because he only has like two animations. And if Mario RPG has taught me anything, <laughs> it's hard to replicate 90s pre-rendered 3D. Okay. Gliding would break most of the levels. Probably if you could even do it. <laughs> I don't even think this game like really has walls so much as it has areas you are allowed to go to and areas you are not. <laughs> yeah, you got a point there. <laughs> a Knuckles Emerald Hunt of this game wouldn't actually be that different. <laughs> Okay, I probably need to keep the pace up. <laughs> It'd be easier, that is true. Secret monitor. Oh, well, hang on. Hang on, here's another secret monitor. Maybe not all that secret. Oh wait, you mean right here? Yeah. The one up jingle is so quiet. And it sounds very it sounds very MIDI compared to the rest of the soundtrack, like I I, I said that as if I was gonna continue that that statement, but I, I think that's about it. Mouse. Is this an Alice in Wonderland joke? Okay. Her the special stage was back from the ring gate. Like, do you mean, uh, wait, wait, hang on. Through the butt lower left, okay. Oh yeah, there's there's some right there. Oh no, no. Okay, I don't it's not this. No wait, it is this. <laughs> I was lied to and then I was lied to about being lied to. I need to... I don't know if I can. Wait, hang on. I need to mute. I need to mute my iPad.
so that we don't get constant discord noises in the background. All right, next one. Kind of got a canyon one. On. Oh, you hear that guitar that goes like, ring, 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 You know, I love that. I need to learn how to play guitar, but only make that specific noise. Oh, okay. Oh. Uh, I don't know how good we're doing so far. Oh. <laughs> I thought that tap of the C button would be enough to carry me, but it wasn't. Yeah, Richard, Richard, uh, I assume you say his name like Jock. He did a good job. Too bad he uh, flashed his clown license. But, you know, we can enjoy the music without approving of everything he's ever done. Oh, okay. Oh, mm. Sonic, please move. When I press left on the D-pad, I expect you to go left, Sonic. No. Thanks, Booster. I mean, I'm playing Mario RPG as well, so that's two games with a booster in it. Okay, I'm glad that the game did not punish me severely <laughs> for my numerous mistakes. Just as it is possible to commit no mistakes and still lose, it is also possible to commit many mistakes and still win. Which is good, because I, half of the time in these special stages, I have no idea what's going on. Okay, bye, Knuckles. I'm out of here. Okay. So now just to rush through the rest of the level. You know, I can never quite interpret... I, I haven't thought about it a whole lot, but... I can never quite interpret what the icons on the bottom right are actually supposed to be. Like, I assume, like, one of Eggman's robots, you know, one of those Eggman's robots. But, like, specifically what, I don't know. I, I can see the, the angry eyes, but the rest of it is just a mystery to me. Okay, come on. Break the last one. Satisfy my OCD. Oh, platforming. Platforming. You think I can make it? Yeah. An angry traffic cone? I mean, could be. Uh, don't, please don't fire. <laughs> Fireballs, not yum. Okay, still missing two. <laughs> VLC player when it sees you using Windows Media Player. Just jump it! Jump it! Yoink. Thank you. Mm -hmm. That r that ring has red tape on it. That probably means something. 
in the Genesis version, if you go off screen really quickly when a fireball is spawned, it'll still be there when you get back. I believe it. Oh, oh, and that's the first instance of the flicky separating from me without me taking damage. It is something that can happen if they get hit, but you don't. Oop. <laughs> yeah, the flickies get their own little shields if you didn't see before. Which is absolutely adorable. Also, I have them all and I didn't realize that. Nicely platformed, thank you. My only skill. I probably need to wipe a little bit of dust off my Saturn and find my, like, dust rag. It's a little dusty. Oh, oh, oh. I, I put this on silent mode. Why did it still make the noise? <laughs> okay. Oh, different pause menu for boss. Boss level. It's the Egg Sphinx. Uh, I, I, I'm trying to land back on the hand, but it doesn't quite work out for me, does it? <laughs> Something really funny. <laughs> yeah, depth perception. Oh, oh, I got it. Oh, no, and I fell off. Oh, I'm out of rings. Don't need them. Do not need. He got shot by almost every single bullet in the last volley. Oh, we're going to clown world! Gonna get clown music. Oh, you're right. This one is, uh, you're in Vegas, and you're gambling away your life savings. Your wife and kids resent you. Wee. That, <laughs> too, is my least favorite song in the OST. <laughs> yeah. I can't say it's my favorite either. Oh, I, oh wait, I haven't gotten the emerald yet. I need to actually get rings. Hang on, let me just... Let me just swoosh into these rings. I don't like this thing. The spike sprayer. Nah. Nah, we don't need that. We don't need any of that. Wait, all right, let me check the map. Oh, the other way was, oh, no, it's all. 
Would you go to Spring Stadium in real life? I might. I don't know. What what is what do you do in Spring Stadium? Spring? Eh, I want that. <laughs> yeah, the one up theme recorded recorded off of Jun Jun Sunue's Windows 95 PC from halfway across the room. And yes, I, I remember that he didn't compose this soundtrack. It was it was still his computer. <laughs> Recorded by Richard Jock from all the way in America. That's a recording of Jun Sunue's Japanese computer. Literally across the ocean at the time. Can I have that? No. Nope. All bird required. Disclaimer, I do not actually know how to pronounce half these people's names. I'm just taking educated guesses. And they're not even really that educated, let's be real. I went to kindergarten and made this guess. Eggman Balloon. Eggman Balloon. Oh, tube. It's like a series of tubes. Hey, I can get a one up. Oh, there's the there's the boy. All right, let's see. Can we get it? Can we get more emerald? On Mega Drive, there are transparent parts of the tube. Yeah, I used to say Miyamoto is Miyamoto, but then I switched to Miyamoto. Me? Yamoto. That's actually his name, is just Yamoto. And they just misunderstood what he was saying. And he was just too polite to correct them. Oh! Oh, oh god. Oh god, please. Please. I'm getting sick. I'm nauseous! Oh. Yamoto, man. <laughs> Me? Gungaga. Oh no, ow! I don't know why I said ow. It's just a reflex. Oh. Mm. I feel Sonic's pain second hand. Every single copy of 3D Blast for Saturn is connected to your brain so that you feel the pain Sonic feels. <laughs> Sega heard that Nintendo was personalizing copies of Mario 64 and they were like, we have to, we have to do something like that. We have to, we, we won't be outdone. <laughs> I mean, so far we're doing pretty good. Two more emeralds. 
two left and we're on like what the third zone I forget how many are in the game probably around seven Six and a half zones. I see, I see. We're gonna wanna get these emeralds. Cause they unlock actual content. And I will not be content if I don't see the content. You can bet on that. I never know if it's safe to jump on the spider. Yeah, this version does not have the text-based intro. You do not get any lore. It is safe to jump on the spider, but is it safe to jump on this guy? Same with the crab. My life is a lie! Oh, hey, Nux. Sorry, man. Tails beat you to it. If this was the Genesis version, I would very gladly pay you a visit, but it is not, so I will not. You will not get paid today, sir. Oh, well, I guess he will. <laughs> I guess he will. Reminds me, at some point I ought to uh, give Spinball another go. Play it on real hardware this time. Okay. Never beat Spinball? I think I've beaten it once. But I want to do it again. Spinball is another one of those games where, you know, I realize that it's probably not very good, but I, I still really like it. I still enjoy it a lot. Also, this is a little late to say this, but I apologize during any of these streams if my webcam's a little on the small side. Like I said, the game is the most important thing to me. It's it's over there. It's mirrored. <laughs> but um So I like to make sure the game looks good, you know, correct aspect ratio. Oh yeah, I love Kid Chameleon. Used to play that all the time on the plug and play. Clown music! I had a plug and play Genesis I used to play it on all the time. Which, yes, I know, I know these, the sound emulation was god awful, but I was like eight. <laughs> I was eight years old. Don't worry, I have a real copy on a real Genesis now. I am atoning for the sins of my past self. It's like trying to not step on broken glass. Ugh. That's like that was like a Mario paint sound effect in the music there. Your copy of Kid Chameleon has blockbuster tape all over it. That's funny because I actually have a copy of something on the original Xbox over here. It might be the SpongeBob movie game that is in a blockbuster case. And I, I just think that's wonderful. Oh, I, lo I love this. This is cute. That's not, though. 
You know, one thing I really liked about Sonic Mania and Studiopolis is that it had like a bunch of Robotnik television stuff and him up on a projector. I'm telling you, my only complaint with Mania, really, that's worth a, worth a cuss, that, that isn't a giant nitpick, is that I just wish there were more original levels. But I understand why there wasn't. Because you can tell, you can tell Sega was just kind of looking at it as a nostalgia thing and not like, oh hey, let's make a Sonic game that people actually, <laughs> that's actually good. They were like, they were like, oh, Green Hill Zone. I love Green Hill Zone. And the fact that a Mania 2 has seemingly not been greenlit is kind of disheartening. I won't lie to you. The d your dad still has the receipt for his Nintendo 64 from 97. <laughs> yeah, that's pretty cool. Reminds me of that story. It was not even really a story, it was like a, a post or something, but... There was this fella who pre-ordered Duke Nukem Forever. And obviously Duke Nukem Forever got delayed forever. But the guy still had his pre-order slip when it did come out. And uh, the store still honored it. And I just think that's kind of hilarious. Where are you going? I don't know. I'm kind of... I'm just kind of looking around for stuff. Checking for secrets. This level looks like it's just one uh, straight path, though. Okay, my memory's awful. I haven't done a special stage in this. <laughs> no, no, I would have remembered because they're both right here. Oh, no, I meant to go to Knuckles! <laughs> Tails stole that! Tails wins. Oh, it's transparent! Dude, it's translucent! Okay, okay. Uh, uh, I'm gonna rail. I'm gonna Ralph so much that I'm gonna wreck it. The carpet, that is. Uh, ooh, ooh. Mm, yeah, that's a nice, tasty amount of rings. It. Yes, yes. The above. The above zone. Oh, I did I shouldn't have jumped. They want you to not jump. I don't know. Can I get enough can I get enough rings this time? Oh god, that was a Oh, that siren was clipping very badly. So they're not super hard, but they're still really cool. Oh, oh. Yeah, you can probably roll. Pretty cool effect, considering the Saturn doesn't do transparent. Oh yeah, I forgot about that. I remember hearing about that in uh, John Burton's video. Yeah, the Saturn was just all kinds of weird to program for, like... You know, I, I, I like the console. My stream theme is based on it. I it, it was a nightmare. 
it was just a nightmare console. Pardon me. Never know if that picks up, but like the burping picks up, but I just I just want to apologize just in case. Okay, bye guys. Oh no, no. I mean I don't know why I'm so concerned, but nonetheless, no. No! I lost the bird. Give me the bird. Oh yeah, cool invincibility placement. I can do a lot with this. I like that in the Genesis version, I think since you can get one emerald per character, you know, Tails and Knuckles being next to each other serves a purpose, in a way. But in this version, it's just kind of, it just kind of nullifies the entire thing. <laughs> one of these days, recurring motorcycle guy is going to hear me burp and shout, bless you. <laughs> I was worried that blowfish was going to extend the moment I jumped at it. Spinny tube is not transparent. Game ruined. Oh, good shield. Best shield. Since I know I'm in no danger from that guy, I can just homing attack him all day long. <laughs> I swear that, 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 it's like a rubber duck, but it sounds like the Mario Paint baby noise. You know, it's funny. It, this sounds like Toy Story 2 music, you know, the video game version, I mean to say. And Traveler's Tales was involved with both, but I'm pretty sure that uh, Richard Jock did not do the music for that game. <laughs> okay, Clown Boss. I mean, personally, I think the Toy Story 2 game soundtrack is pretty, is pretty dope, honestly. Sounds pretty good. The Spike Hand Boss. Eggman Scissor Hands. I have an idea. I'll make a robot with arms, and then I will slam the arms on the ground. Sonic will never know what hit him. Oh yeah, you can just stand up there on the ledge. Oh, oh, but you're in danger. You're at risk. Oh, 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 oh. Now you see what you made me do. You see what you made me do. Robotnik is trying to become the next arm fighter. 
but nobody told him that they're not adding anymore. Uh... <laughs> I was like, where is he? Burp. 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 The, the rings disappear fast in this game. So yeah, there's especially no reason to have more than one. More DLC evidence. Listen, listen, dude, I have... I have heard the voice of God in my head and on the stream and just random occurrences that man cannot explain. Robotnik is going to be Smash Brothers DLC. It's it's going to happen. I have heard it is the will of God that Robotnik be Smash DLC. I mean, honestly, I, I kind of just want Sonic content that's not Green Hill Zone. And and maybe some actual remixes, which I know we're never going to get. There's been three Smash Brothers games that Sonic has been in, and we have gotten one remix. I don't, I, I don't get it. It's not even like they can't remix the songs, either. They've done it <laughs> in several games. Why is the font so dark? <laughs> okay, it's Christmas! I hope Segata Senshiro brings me a Saturn. <laughs> okay, and if I recall right... I mean, this is one level, I think, where I, I definitely think I prefer the Genesis music, but the Saturn one's still good. I mean, they're both pretty uh, great soundtracks. Like, let's be real. Uh, Jun Sunue and, and the Flicky's Frozen. Jun's, Jun Sunue and uh, Richard Jacques. That, that, sorry, my brain died for a moment. Um, they're both very talented composers. Let's not beat around the bush. Uh, where's my bird? I'm going to have to scan for my bird. I think you can spin dash into these, but I'm afraid to find out. I got both my birds on me. Oh, yeah, I do. I don't know why it looked like I didn't. Oh, no! No! Uh. Oh, there were other people besides Jun. Yeah. Okay, so I can do that, yes? Like, I can just grab one ring and give it to Knuckles, and he'll be like, yeah, that's good. Oh, yeah, there we go. Okay. I thought that was the case, but I could not remember, and I, would, I didn't want to risk it. I'll be real with you. So I'm glad to have some verification. SPACE! SPACE! Oh, no, 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 no! Well, that's not a good start. <laughs> N nor is that. This might be the first time I lose one. <laughs> But let's not jump to conclusions. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, oh, oh. I'm having a heart attack. Oh, no. No! Nope, I'm good. <laughs> 
But yeah, Knuckles, Knuckles can't even keep the Master Emerald safe, and that's literally his one job. So, would you trust him with your money? I would. First instance of actual difficulty. But not it's not even that high. The special stage has become slightly difficult. Uh yeah, Pleasure Castle was meant to be a special stage theme for the Mega Drive version. Shame we, we didn't get to hear a version of that actually in the Genesis version. Now we just need to find the backstory behind Fakery Way. <laughs> yes, uh, Fakery Way was meant to be... <laughs> the, the Mirror Room theme was meant to be in Sonic 3, but they cut it because it was too terrifying. Then they decided they actually didn't care anymore, so they added it into Adventure. Okay, so we got all the emeralds. We're good. That's the song that plays when Sonic is laying in his bed having an existential crisis. I, I go fast, but is that all I do? Is that all I'll ever be good at? Okay, so we can continue on. So now we don't have to really pay any attention to the rings. We can just, uh, we can just play video game. No! No! Oh, ow! No! 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 There's nothing over here. The free spray hurts the birdies. That it does. We Mandatory freezing. I was frozen today. Okay. Give me the bird. <laughs> well, actually it won't be because we have all the emeralds. And then we leave Tails to freeze to death in the pond. Good end. I'm just, <laughs> I'm just being way too, <laughs> way too unnecessarily mean details. Yeah, I, I know I can break the spike. I just, I don't know, I just don't think to do it. <laughs> wee! Oh, wee! I just said I didn't have to bother the- Well, we could still get some extra lives, I guess. Even though I haven't died, like, I've only died like once. I said I haven't, but that's not true. It was because, uh, I was trying out the epic strategy. <laughs> yeah, yeah, ice physics. Even an isometric 3D platformer has to have them. Oh. There's a lot of things that explode in this game. Snowmen included. Oh, yes, I, I remember. You can, you can break the ice spikes. Isometric. <laughs> That's a Langton tier pun. <laughs> Every time the flows the flows in fricky, <laughs> it gets me. 
It's never not funny. You can murder the snowman? Oh, I didn't know that you could. Put RPG Mario in this game. I think I tried to do the opposite one time. Like, I think I tried to put Sonic 3D Blast Sonic in Mario RPG. Also, hello, Isaac. Pretty decent turnout for this one, I think. At least by my standards. <laughs> Which are admittedly not lofty, but... Does the Saturn version also have the have the bug where rolling into the snowman can kill you instantly? I have no idea. I didn't think to try. I mean, if I see another snowman, like the exploding one, right? Uh, I can try it. Specifically the ones with flickies. I mean, I can try rolling into them. See what happens. You know, for the science of it. Woke up on Christmas Eve and Santa Claus had visited me. He left me a Saturn under the tree. And I, that's all the words I got. The frozen flicky counts as a solid object and crushes you. That's kind of incredible. Oh, oh, bunny, bunny. Okay, well, when I see another snowman, I'll try- okay, okay. Doesn't seem like it. Either that or I timed it badly. Either way, the ice was broken. I like Act 2's definitely a, a bit more because it's it's a, it's just a bit more energetic than Act 1. That, that drum beat adds a lot to it. Though uh, Nico CW ended up doing like a Generations remix of this that was uh, pretty good. Was even more energetic than this. I love how this game has a fantastic fog effect going on, but the dithered shadow. Yeah, apparently the Saturn didn't even do... Oh, <laughs> I didn't want this. I never asked for this. I'm, the Saturn apparently couldn't even do transparency, so how they managed it, I have no idea, because it, it's not doing the flicker thing. So do I loop back around? Or, no, this is the transparent one again. Oh, all the blending effects are done in software. <laughs> I don't want to be here. Can I leave? <laughs> Can I leave? <laughs> you just have to let this thing play out. Oh no, I keep getting rings. This isn't what I wanted. That's no good. Oh yeah, also, I'm pretty sure everyone here already knew this, but the sound that plays when somebody follows me on Twitch, that's from this game. It's like, or or it might have been Sonic R. Actually, never mind. <laughs> never, never mind. But it's from a Saturn game. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it was a trimmed down Sonic R noise. I'm talking out of my my butt.
Though I could probably put a noise from this game as one of them. That's the only one that ends up playing the... Humming attack. Oh, I meant to try it again. <laughs> Make it so that when somebody follows you, it says this CD can only be played on a Sega CD system. I'll have Alucard say, This disc can only be played on a Sega Saturn. Track one is game data. <laughs> Every single time, the whole thing, every single time. We. Oh, oh, yeah, you can kill him. Aw, they took my shield. Oh, hi, Nook. Hi, Nook. I would buy the Dustin VG Stream soundtrack on Compact Disc. I mean, as it stands now, it's just Sega stuff that I have uh, uh, borrowed. I've considered uh, trying to compose an original thing for the end screen, though. I thought that would you know, be a nice little cherry on top, but I, I want it to be good if I do. Let me, let me do it, let me do it. Well, I mean, <laughs> if you want to give it a try. Like, uh, if you can get something that kind of fits the, uh, Sega CD BIOS aesthetic, then, uh, by all means, give it a go. I wonder if I can get the SA1 title card to show follower names. Well, right, what I use right now is the Streamlabs widget, but, uh, since you can do an image, I'm pretty sure you could get the, the little title card thing in the background, yes. You might have to tweak it to get it looking like just so, but I think it would work. I mean, you'd probably have an easier time with SA2, but I know that's not as much your thing. I mean, it's still kind of your thing, but <laughs> SADX is more your thing. <laughs> you're, you're using Streamlabs? Like, I'm not, I'm not actually using uh, Streamlabs OBS, at least. I don't know why. I just prefer vanilla OBS. I guess I kind of like to keep things like minimalist in that regard. But I don't really have a valid reason. Ah! Ice! I have ice to meet you, Hedgehog! Oh, he creates the snowman. Yeah, for some reason when you're in a boss, the it just the rings do not last long. I need to stop stuttering so much. It's it's a serious problem. I need to speak with confidence, with poise. Even if I'm about to say something completely asinine. Dustin be like, I um I I um like what? We're all listening and you're saying nothing. Hang on, I gotta clear my throat real quick. Okay, I'm, I'm good, I'm good now. Oh, oh, volcano. Volcano Mountain. Okay, so both songs for Volcano Valley are really good, but I really, really love the Genesis version of this. <laughs> this is where the snowman would surely die if it hadn't already. Yeah, he'd have a snowball's chance in hell.
technically there's four songs. Yeah, you're right. But, I mean, Act 2 is based on Act 1's motif, so... I mean... I don't know where I'm going with that. <laughs> they're, they're very similar, I guess, is where I'm what I'm trying to say. Wait. Wait, hang on. Alright, no, it's just a straight line. You're, you're predisposed to the Genesis MD soundtrack. Yeah, I mean, that's, and that's fair. I mean, honestly, at the end of the day, I'm just kind of, you know, I, it's kind of a blessing in disguise, really, that the games have different soundtracks, because, you know, just like Sonic CD, it means that we don't just get one, like, banging set of tunes, we get two. Where is the exit? Knuckles, <laughs> Knuckles, let me let me go. That being said, you you could probably uh, mod the Genesis music into this version very easily if you wanted to. While fans argue about it for centuries, well, I just say that they're missing the forest for the trees. They're not looking at this with good thinking. They're not thinking with musical, musical big brain. <clears throat> yeah, I think, I think the problem is people just get too caught up trying to argue which soundtrack is, quote, better. And we just need to step back and accept that they're both good. That, that's the big thing, is when it comes down to which is better, that's where you get the issues, but... I mean, I'm just glad to have both to listen to. No, I need that. I need that guy. I think I break these all out of Marble, marble Zone muscle memory. Because the, in that game it gives you points. I mean, not that the points do anything, but... <laughs> But I, I like to see the number go up. <laughs> That's all I know to say. Num number make dopamine. Make brain happy. This also sounds like a Toy Story 2 song. But then again, it, it might just... You know, it's pretty much just... You know, this this is how games of this era just like to sound, I think. I I honestly do love I do love the way music of this era in video games sounded. Like I I can't explain it. It's just it's just really neat. I I just think they're neat. Why is there a ladybug here? That's not very volcanic. I wish I had the homing attack. I mean, if the Genesis Sonic... If the Genesis Sonic games, uh... Had a, a score attack mode, like you could get like a high score, then I might care, you know? Like, if you could go back and play old levels and try to get the most points, then yeah, I, I, I might give a darn, but as it stands right now, it's like, like, who cares? Did, did anyone even back in the 90s say, like, Oh, dude, you gotta look at the score I got in Sonic the Hedgehog! Knuckles' Emerald Hunt is a score attack? I thought it was more of a time attack. Which, granted, suits Sonic a lot better at the end of the day, but... The pro I mean, I guess the problem with that is with the random emerald positions. 
you know, it can be a little skewed based on your RNG. I don't know. Time gives you a score bonus. Fair enough, fair enough. I got the high score in Sonic the Hedgehog. I got all the way to level three, man. You gotta love the like the really subtle mist. Like it's like it <laughs> It makes you wonder why they even bothered, but it's it, it's neat. Well, I mean I guess I noticed. So never mind. Who's gonna notice, he says noticing. Ah, the tree's on fire. Looks like a hand. It's for little detail-oriented punks like you. Yeah, fair enough. Statement redacted. Where is enemy? Oh. I'm lost. I'm lost in the sauce. Oh, the hole. The tube. Okay, well, it's for another one of these, which I, I don't need for obvious reasons, but... I mean, I can remember it's there when I inevitably lose it. Gotta go the long way around. Wait. Uh. No, no, wait. <laughs> Where is this? The map. The map is not isometric. Spot in the lava with a moving platform. Oh, I can't go over here. <laughs> Just tilt your head 45 degrees. Yeah, apparently. Oh, hey, I I played this level recently in a uh, Sonic World, Sonic World's Deluxe or whatever it was called. Uh, you know, it was a fan game at Sonic Amateur Games Expo going on literally right now. I didn't realize that this was topical. I just wanted to play a Sonic game. I probably should have got those rings. I don't know. Okay, I'm moving forward. Let me, let me go. I want to go down. Nope, can't do it. Down is not allowed. Except, I, I go right here. I don't know. Can we get levels from this in a fan game? Oh, we can get levels from this in a fan game, but not the official games. I mean, honestly, I feel like I would probably have been slightly more okay with Mania's reused levels if they were things like this or like Toxic Caves from Spinball. You know, something a bit more unusual. Oh, well, like I said, though, I think Mania just kind of had to be the way that it was. I don't think they had much of a choice. I just hope that one day we get Mania 2. And those problems will be rectified. Hey, no! It's going back to get the shield! Give me, give me the bird. Give it. Give it. Do I have them all? Do, do I have all bird? Yeah, I do. Ow. Where am I?
Oh, you were just talking about mods. <laughs> yeah, I I will admit that's probably the biggest missed opportunity is because when Generation 3DS was revealed, we all thought that we were going to get like, you know, all the portable levels on that version. But it was really just Sonic Rush. Very weird. Very, very weird game, that Generations 3DS. Back when Sega felt the need to make portable versions of everything. Now they don't even have to because the Switch is, exists. So they could just make a slightly worse version of Forces. Oh! We did it! Now it's mobile versions of things. You got a point. You got a point. Twenty-seven seconds. But I thought of a funnier time than twenty-seven. Okay, we're we're nearing the end. Semi-final zone. That was such a weird point in time. Remember when when a lot of console games got GBA slash DS ports that were wildly different. Yeah. Pac-Man World got a GBA port. Though, oddly enough, Pac-Man World on the GBA wasn't very different. Like, it tried really hard to replicate the PS1 game. Pac-Man World 2 is where you want to look if you're looking for differences. Ow. <laughs> I got distracted by the jams. That was just the bumper noise, you can't fool me. This is this is probably my favorite music in the Saturn version. <laughs> yeah, go figure. Rayman Raving Rabbids portable was an actual platformer. Oh, this this level, it yeah, it protects you against electricity. Arrgh! And I have wasted it near immediately. I mean, we're getting close to the end. I guess things would be a little bit harder. I, I really like Sonic's spinning animation here. I don't know why. This stage has transparent tubes, but not Steam Spring Stadium. I cannot speak. I'm unable to vocalize my thoughts. Gene Gadget just sounds like an Inspector Gadget's human alter ego. I'm better than you are. So I'll play the Sonic game. Very subtle loop.
That's north, by the way. I don't know if you knew that. All right, Gene Gadget 2. Inspector Gadget's other alter ego. Oh my god, this music. That's some kind of deranged turkey, I think. Oh yeah, I know right. I know this spot right here. Don't zap me. Oh wait, I have the shield. I'm good. Oh, where am I? Where where is here? Oh, that doesn't really help me at all. Wait, 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 okay, wait. So there's nothing in here? Oh, cool, cool, uh, <laughs> cool effect. You tried. Oh, wait, here, here it is, here's the spot. Oh. Oh, no, undershot. Oh, hey, it's the ghost noise. <laughs> this gives you Mario 64 flashback, the slope platforming. Oh, yeah, the, the level, the invisible cap level, the vanish cap, that's what it's called. I'm the invisible cap. Okay, you can't walk through there. Shame looks like it, but uh, but no. I appreciate that reference. Yeah, I thought you would. Oh, ow. Oh, more very subtle looping. You might not have heard it. We gotta seek back. Hit rewind on the tape deck. I'm going up. Ugh. Oh, this level's a little, a little confused. Okay, so I went the wrong way. Hmm, I don't know if it counts past this amount of lives. <laughs> See, he can build robots with AI and everything, but he can't figure out loot points. Hmm, I don't like this. Oh, oh, oh no! Now, I don't know if you've heard, but there's a certain word. Green Hill is looking a lot more like Fade Out Hill. Was I already this way? I already. I, I don't know. I'm losing my mind. Oh, the turret! The turret! I hate it! I hate the turret. Oh, okay. Oh, turret. I might die. It's possible. No. It's not possible. 
you haven't heard what's the word. Uh, well, it's flicky. Okay, back up. Oh, and it takes me right here. How nice. Very kind of it. I just had a random thought. This is you playing a Saturn game, which is oddly rare given that you are the head honcho of Club Saturn. That was not lost on me. However, the main reason I don't play that many Saturn games is just because I don't have that many to play. Uh, Saturn games, as you are well aware, are pretty expensive if you want to get the ones worth giving a darn about. But I plan to do Nights into Dreams at some point. I have the 3D controller and everything. I mean, well, might as well. Might as well. Uh, to how long to beat dot com says it's only about two, four hours. So it probably wouldn't be any longer than like two streams. Unless I decide to go for like crazy 100% something. Oh. I was watching a Let's Play this game once, and somebody was having a lot of trouble with this boss. And I, I don't really understand. You emulated that with analog controls, and it's wonderful. Yeah, wh what's really weird is that apparently the Steam version of Nights Into Dreams does not have analog. I don't know how that could have happened. But now I'm definitely sticking to the Saturn one. Because I haven't played a ton of Nights, but I have played enough to know that it's way better with analog controls. Alright, uh, we're in the pie factory. Well, well, Isaac, one thing you gotta remember is that Sega's not used to porting anything that's not on the Genesis, so... I mean, though, I remember the Dreamcast ports they've done being alright. May ye be Sonic Adventure aside. I mean, well, I mean, DX is all right. It's just maybe not an improvement. Oh, Panic Puppet. What does that name mean? I have no idea. Alright, so this is an odd level. Oh yeah, SA2. SA2 felt like a better port when it was new. But now that, like, I'm running it on better <laughs> hardware with, like, <laughs> a Windows 10. Panic Puppet definitely has the superior song on Genesis. Yeah, I think so. Uh, I can agree with that one. But yeah, I just it might just be nostalgia on my end. Because I, I did play a ton of the adventure games when I was a wee bab. So I heard that song a lot. A pump. Oh, new. Red. The red containment field. You could probably interpret that as some kind of political commentary. Yeah, I mean, I guess you could say I kind of grew up with heroes, but it depends on which age you s stops being growing up. God, I'm, I'm choking on this right now. Oh, ow. Ow. You know, speaking of, they ported Earthworm Jim 2 to the Saturn. 
Wouldn't mind having that version of the game one day. You never stop growing up. How true. How true that is. Oh, I'm back at the start. <laughs> I am back at the start. I think the, the disc just skipped a little bit. Okay, I wasn't on that platform. They ported both games to DOS and one to Windows. Yeah, I, I actually do have those versions. Um, the DOS version of Earthworm Jim 1 is a little iffy, but I think 2 is alright. I think 2 runs fine, but I think 1 has some weird collision bugs, but I have... I do have the Earthworm Jim Special Edition on PC. Which is good because the only other version of that version is the one on Sega CD and it costs like a hundred dollars. Uh, my first experience with uh, Sonic CD was I think on Jim's collection. Your girlfriend has the Sonic and Knuckles collection. Nice, nice. I do too, but I'm always glad to hear about more. Oh, no! I thought there was, I thought that was unopened, but. Is there, um, have I gone down here? Yeah, I had to have, right? Well, apparently not well enough. I, I think Sonic and Knuckles collection might, I could be wrong, but it might be in that CD tower back there if you can see it. <laughs> well, main memory, I will say I do appreciate your efforts to make it a bit more like the Genesis version, uh, allowing you to play the music and having the more accurate palettes. Can't believe Sonic and Knuckles collection had the original versions of the songs. I, dude, I know that was so crazy. Like, I was like this. When, like when they got to that part in the bit, the prototype live stream, I was like. Like, that, that was probably the hypest thing I can remember in a long time. I was invincible. Did my invincibility run out, like, the literal moment that I ran into that enemy? Oh boy, I get to do this again. Great! I can't wait to replay the entire level! Okay, just take that out. Take him out preemptively. <clears throat> No, land on the Switch. Hey guys, did you know they put Sonic 3D Blast on the Switch? Checkpoints, what are those? Yeah, this is like the Sonic equivalent to the one hit, oh, hit point away death. Like what that is to Mega Man dying at the very end of invincibility is to Sonic. I don't think you I don't think you can spin dash up this. Yeah, I don't You can spin dash from there, but Oop. Okay, green
<laughs> Some Scooby Doo Hanna Barbera shit. You know, if my plans work out this year, we might finally have some actual Scooby-Doo Hanna-Barbera shit. <laughs> These platforms. It's for that reason I'm going to try to keep my schedule kind of open and only have like two games going, going forward, like once I finish one, which is probably going to be Katamari next. Because Katamari's not very long. <laughs> I'm s my skill, it's dissipating. <laughs> Katamari's not a very long game, so I'm probably gonna be done with it, like within the next stream or two. I mean, that's okay. It doesn't overstay its welcome. But, you know, there are more Katamari games if we decide we want that. <laughs> Empathetic Rocky Plumber. No, that, that means Mario heard about this and he empathizes. No! <laughs> Please stay. Go in the direction I desire. That's a good enemy. I don't know if I need to hit that switch. No, I don't. Okay, level done. And now one more actual level. And like this one, it's a little unusual, but not in the same way. 3-3-3. Three, three, three. Double that and it's the, the devil number. Which might actually be six one six, uh, where you know it's it's a little, it's a little vague, little unsure. There's been some contention. All right, panic puppet. So the reason this one is weird is because you will notice there is no flicky counter, as there are no flickies in this level. You just gotta run right to the goal. I didn't know you could stand on top of that. Oh, yeah, I mean, I saw that coming. <laughs> I did nothing to prevent it, but I saw it coming. Go through Eggman's like pants. Which is not something I advise doing if it's not a giant robot Eggman. Just just speed along. Okay, we got we got platforming. Everybody loves the platforming in Sonic 3D Blast. I, I can test the idea that that hit me. <laughs> Are there any rings over here? Yes. <laughs> oh yes, thank you for shield. Thank you for shield. I don't even care. Do not care. Oh no, there's trap doors. That mu that I should probably care about. Now I must enter Robotnik's nose. I don't know what they were thinking with that one. The trapdoors can't kill you. Yeah, but I figured they would send me back. 
they just prevent backwards progress? Hmm. That's the opposite of what I thought. They become solid walls. All right. <laughs> that I didn't know. <laughs> oh no, Robotnik's back with his arms. You gotta, <laughs> you gotta tempt him, or else he's just gonna keep spraying his giblets everywhere. Well, I mean, how much tempting do I gotta- okay. There we go. Boxes, we got them. Video games, we got them. Yeah, maybe don't play that noise like 80 times in a row. Oh, fire, 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 fire. Oh, uh, this one's a little bit trickier. <laughs> Oh, I'm in a pickle. I'm in a pickle. And I kid you not, he got himself into a pickle. No! No, no, ring please. No! This ignores my constitutional rights! Just live in his armpits, jumping. <laughs> hmm? Would you, would you care to run that by me again? Oh, 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 oh. It bothers me how the dither pattern here is, uh... I, I don't know how to describe it. Since those are patterned, you can just jump right where it will do damage and skip the fire entirely. Interesting. I am very bad at games. I've, I've come to terms with this. Mirror dithering, yeah, that's that's a good, <laughs> that's what we can call it. Oh, I realize now that I have made a mistake. Oh, 
Okay, there we go. Is that it? Oh no, there's another hole. <laughs> yeah, this trick is usable. Keep letting him create too many of the the balls though. I'm in I'm in trouble. I'm in I'm dead. <laughs> That's not good. I don't like those I don't like those events that just transpired. Hello, integer. Ow. All right, there we go. So, which one's first? Oh, 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 oh. You kinda gotta take wide turns. Get a sequel to this. Oh. So wait, does it? Okay, I can just stay on one side with this one. Okay, I might have goofed now. Wait, why did that destroy that arm? What? It seems like a bug. Yeah, I can agree with that. <laughs> it worked, though. It got me where I needed to be. But that's not all. There is one yet. No, n no cutscene or title card or anything. Oh, oh, no! I, I, I had it confused with the uh, death egg robot thing. Fire. But fire. Oh, okay. Oh no, Master Hand. It's, it's the hands boss. I don't know why he needs to charge up for the hand slam. Okay, and now he's gonna do the move.
And then Robotnik, being the polite fellow he is, comes in to give me a chance to hit him. I don't know if those are random or they track me or what, but I just played it safe. Oh, the balls! The balls! The balls! Mario Pinball! <laughs> they track you, yeah. Luckily, I made it back to the rings. The closest corners to him are safe. Noted. Alright, let's go. Maybe it's just the early 3D, but this background gives me some Monster Zinc vibes. You know, the part with the elevators, that's the vibe I'm getting from this. Oh, I don't know why I just sat there and let it happen. Yeah, that's pretty easy to deal with. Oh, I just realized, not only did I make the uh, two games with boosters joke, there's also the fact that Mario RPD, RPD and this are both uh, pre-rendered. You know, there's also that. There's an atmosphere to just a totally black background. Yeah, I agree. Oh, but I missed him. <laughs> I missed my chance to hit. That form is dead. Or the whole thing is dead, I'm not sure. No, the whole thing. I won! Yeah, I mean, as far as Sonic final bosses go, I, I, I like it. Sonic's, the highlight of these games is almost never the bosses, so. I, I blame the rings, personally. The thing is, if you can just pick up hit points as many times as you want, then the bosses just, it's like almost inevitable that you're going to win. Sonic 4 actually dealt with this issue. How was that again? I don't I honestly don't remember. Program design and implementation by John Burton. Every time you get hit with the same rings, they bounce further away. Hmm. Well, that's one interesting thing that Sonic 4 did. I mean, hey, even a broken clock's right twice a day. Also, isn't it
the Sky Canyon boss. You mean you mean the bitch slap machine? <laughs> you know this. <laughs> what a Sonic 3D blast! What a great anime. If you think this is bad, have you ever heard the uh, credits music to Symphony of the Night? Like, like I mean, good song with such a tonal shift. <laughs> Which is also on the Saturn, but only in Japanese. So sadly, I'll probably be playing the PlayStation version when I get there. The police heard that I was going to play the PlayStation version. They've come to get me. I mean, you know, we got to hear, What is a man? That's not even an argument. It's a shame, though, because the Saturn one has some, like, exclusive content. But it also, like, lags a lot more, and the loading times are worse. It's a shame, really. Oh yeah, and the PlayStation 1 doesn't have playable Maria. You played the randomizer for the PS1 version recently, it's great. The randomizer, the game, or both? Because uh, either way, I, I probably agree. <laughs> the Japanese openings and endings of a uh, Mega Man X thing. I I'm partial to electrical communication. Yeah, I know it's Mega Man 8. I know it's not DX. <laughs> Kaparama, yeah, Sonic. You missed it, mate. <laughs> and hey, somebody actually chatted via the Discord. <laughs> but uh, thanks for showing up, everybody. It's a pretty good turnout this time, by at least by my standards, as I said before. And I, I appreciate it a lot. Uh, hope you had fun. I did. And I will see you later. Uh, the chicken made the videos possible.